guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Quick video tip on the A320. Just want to shed some light on ground mode. Those of you that are flying the A320 or you have flown the 320 or you know a thing or two about the 320 or the Airbus model in general of aircraft, you'll notice that on the ground with at least one engine running, we have right angles on the attitude indicator that inside of those right angles are also housed a crosshair that moves with side stick deflection. So as we're doing our flight control check and also upon rotation of the aircraft as we're rolling down the runway, you'll see this crosshair deflect on the attitude indicator inside of the right angles. Now, of course, once we get airborne, we transition into flight mode. This is all normal law, three modes, ground, flight, flare, talk all about it in our online ground school. Uh, but of course, the focal point of the video really is the ground mode and this crosshair. I just want to shed some light on the fact that that crosshair, folks, it moves not with flight control surface deflection, but with side stick deflection. So if I move the side stick aft, I see it pitch up. If I move it forward, I see it pitch down, roll left and right, etc., as appropriate, right? That's great, shows me where the side stick is positioned, but it doesn't show me actual flight control surface deflection, which is really why we wanna to look to the systems display when we're doing our flight control check. Um, we want to look to the systems display because that's actual control surface move movement as opposed to the crosshair, which is only side stick movement. And of course, what do we really care about? Flight control surface movement, right? Now, ground mode is entered upon or entered into upon an engine start, a any engine running. It doesn't have to be two engines running. doesn't have to be number two or number one. It could be an engine running on the ground you're in ground mode, all right? And you'll know because you have the right angles and as soon as you rotate off the runway, those right angles disappear. And now we get into the blending of flight mode. And then of course, later on 50 feet, ELAC snapshot, followed by 30 foot nose down pitching moment. That's flare mode. Talk all about this stuff, folks, in our online video ground school. Really hope to work with you there, either on a video, virtually, or in person here in Miami. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.